Okay, this is a homework problem from chapter 8 dealing with the energy levels of hydrogen atoms. It can be found on page 343. It's 8.p.20. Uh, first, the minimum kinetic energy in electron volts to ionize a hydrogen atom. <clears throat> Using the energy principle or the energy update principle, it's pretty simple. Uh, the final energy uh, is equivalent to the initial energy plus some kinetic energy here dealing with an electron. Um, so the formula for a hydrogen atom would be 13, negative 13.6 electron volts over n squared, where n is the energy level that you desire to find. Um, of course, plus some kinetic energy of an electron. Um, here you're doing a little of algebra, and you can find that that is 10.2 electron volts um, of kinetic energy. All right, now part B asks us, um, we have some electrons uh, violently colliding with this uh, hydrogen gas, and we want to find what kind of photons will be emitted. Um, that's why the main idea of this is emission of, the, of this part. Um, so us, again, the, uh, we're given that the um, energy of these electrons is 12.8 electron volts. Again, using this um, energy principle, this form of the energy principle, and rearranging it so that we can just automatically plug in final minus initial gives us our kinetic. We can see that from in, using from N1 to N2, N2 to N3, and N3 to N4, we get these energy levels, or these uh, amounts of kinetic energy, and when we add these together, we get the 12.8 uh, electron volts. And the reason that we can do this is because an electron can hit a hydrogen atom and give it some energy and then bounce and then continue to bounce on to other hydrogen atoms to then give more energy to other hydrogen atoms, essentially until the electron runs out of kinetic energy or doesn't have enough to excite any of the hydrogen atoms. And so when you graph these, when you graph these energy levels, you get you get the first, the second, third, and the fourth. And then we have that's why we have these energy levels written over here. And then it seems a bit weird, but now we have six possible uh, six possibilities, and um, I've had them labeled. And if you do a little bit of math, I didn't have it here because it'd probably just make the paper a bit too crowded. But you get these uh, six energy levels right here that uh, for photons that would be emitted. All right, now on to part C. This is absorption. Uh, basically, we have light that is already inside of the hydrogen gas. We want it <coughs> the light ranges from the energies of zero electron volts all the way up to 12.8. And we want to find out which of these energies will be absorbed. Basically, this is the same exact thing as what we just did in part B, except now we're going, uh, now we're going the opposite way. So here again, instead of doing the, uh, the, the same math just backwards, um, we, we've already, uh, we've already uh, decided that we have uh, energy levels one through four. So again, we have these energy levels right here. And then basically, we can just draw the arrows backwards the other way and then use the same principle right here, final minus initial, to give the kinetic energy. So essentially, start at negative 13.6, go up to negative 3.4, start at, uh, again, one, go up, uh, negative 13.6, go up to negative 1.511, carry the same procedure out across all six arrows and then you'll get um, these six values right here and again let me see if I can get it in the camera um, I've labeled the energy levels along with the arrows and that's pretty much it so basically the, uh, the, the basic main idea for chapter 8 was we have you know we have atoms that can absorb or emit some energy and Basically, this, en this energy is kinetic energy, and um, when we're um, emitting it, we're emitting photons and we're absorbing photons, um, and that's, that's basically, it's, it's pretty simple, uh, but that's, that's about it.